Weeds are a constant reminder of previous year's weed management failures. Without the use of herbicides, organic farmers often see their weed problems increase every year, not only in number, but also in diversity of species. While cereals are quite competitive due to an initial seed size advantage over weed seeds and quick canopy growth, yield reductions due to weeds are common. Grain quality can also be adversely affected, as weeds can harbor insect pests and diseases, compete for essential nutrients, and wet weed seed in the harvested grain can cause spoilage. Why are weeds so prevalent in organic cereals? The fundamental agronomic practices used by most organic grain growers, methods developed over the last 50 years of input-intensive production, are poorly suited to organic production, where weed pressure is often very high. These practices, relatively low seeding rates of 120 pounds per acre and wide rows of 7 inches, work in conventional production because herbicides eliminate weeds. Therefore, there is no need to emphasize and exploit crop weed competition. Many growers rely on springtime harrowing to reduce weeds in organic small grains like wheat and barley. This cultivating implement uses flexible metal tines to uproot weeds, which then desiccate on the soil surface. Given ideal conditions of dry soil and very small weeds, harrowing can kill over 90% of weeds in the field. However, wet springs makes timely springtime harrowing nearly impossible. Delaying harrowing until field conditions improve reduces efficacy, as weeds are larger and less susceptible to uprooting. Furthermore, springtime harrowing treats the entire field uniformly, so the tines also harm the crop through uprooting, burial, and foliar damage. Studies in barley have shown, on average, 10% yield reductions per springtime cultivation event. So although high levels of weed control with a springtime harrow can result in yield gains, there is a trade-off with yield losses due to crop damage. Organic farmers can achieve modest improvements in crop weed competition by switching to competitive cultivars that are tall, emerge quickly, and have horizontal leaf carriage, or they can choose competitive species like oats. Increasing seeding rates to 290 pounds per acre can also increase yield and suppress weed growth. However, this strategy may not pay off due to the high cost of organic seed. There is the potential to have more selective weed control with the use of an inter-row hoe and wider row spacing, much like you would see in row crops like corn or soybeans. The Schmatzer EPP cultivator is just one example of a weed management tool designed specifically for controlling weeds within the crop row in small-scale organic production. Mounted on a three-point hitch, the unit is controlled by hydraulic-assisted manual steering. Depending on the size of the crop, Working speed can be as high as 6 miles per hour. Larger scale cultivators with automated guidance systems can operate at much higher speeds, up to 10 miles per hour, while still maintaining accuracy. Each sweep is mounted to the toolbar with a parallel linkage, thus allowing precise depth control, which is essential for variable field surfaces. Weeds are controlled between the row by undercutting or burial, thus making the efficacy of interrow hoeing less reliant on soil conditions or weed size. With greater efficacy against larger weeds, interrow hoeing can be performed multiple times in a season, allowing for control of weeds that would be unaffected by springtime harrowing. As interrow hoeing selectively targets weeds, crop damage is minimal. Furthermore, interrow hoeing with a schmatzer shows promising results with control of creeping perennials like quackgrass, which cannot be controlled in season by springtime harrowing or herbicides. With reduced weed density and weed pressure, cereal grain yield increases. At a cost of $7.52 per acre, interrow hoeing is also a less expensive weed management option than doubling seeding rate, while providing equivalent yields and weed suppression. When weed pressure is low, cereals are sufficiently competitive as to not require increases in seeding rate or physical weed control to manage weeds. However, most organic farms have ample weed pressure to merit implementing this new technology.